Hello everyone, David here with T&D Sports Cards. I'd like to welcome you back to our newest video. In this installment, we are going to go way back to 1978 and open some cards that were released that year from Tops. We have a hockey pack, a football pack, basketball, and baseball. And each of these packs will be looking for some rookies and some Hall of Famers. In the hockey pack, the big card is the Mike Bossy rookie card. There are also a bunch of Hall of Famers and stars. Um, it's not a huge year. It's the year before the Gretzky rookie. But uh, nonetheless, hopefully we'll find some good stuff in there. In football, we'll be looking for Tony Dorsett. He is the marquee rookie from this year. There's also a Fred Dean rookie and countless Hall of Famers. So uh, this should be a fun pack to open. In the basketball set, the uh, big rookie is uh, the Bernard King. And I actually have, uh, have one sitting right over here. So we've been looking for one of those along with uh, a bunch of Hall of Famers. Uh, Dennis Johnson's rookie card is also in this set along with Jack Sigma. And, uh, of course, there's lots of uh, stars and Hall of Famers as well. It's a nice-looking set. And uh, last pack we have here is the baseball. The uh, big rookie in this one is Eddie Murray, but we also have uh, several others. We have the uh, Lou Whitaker, Jack Morris, uh, Alan Trammell, and Paul Molitor share the same card, um, plus uh, lots of uh, Hall of Famers and stars as well. So uh, hopefully we can uh, find some nice stuff in these packs. So with that, we'll get moving here. And we'll start with the hockey pack. And again, uh, we'll be looking for the uh, Mike Bossy rookie card. Okay. And the gum actually looks pretty good. It's still, uh, still a little pink, but I don't think I'm going to give it a whirl. I'd opened some uh, some packs from uh, from 1980 on a previous video and I tried the gum off camera and it was pretty awful. It tasted pretty much like mold. So I think I'm going to stay away from the gum. All right. So we have uh, Bob Stewart of the North Stars, Wayne Dillon, Gary Unger, Terry Harper, Pierre LaRouche. He uh, eventually went on to play for the Rangers for a little while and uh, had a had a couple of uh, big goal scoring seasons. He was a pretty good player. Peter McNabb. I remember him more from his announcing days with the Devils, uh, and I believe he might still be announcing for the Avalanche. I know he moved there once uh, once Quebec went out there. He was with them for a while. Uh, let's see what do we got here. We have a Blackhawks decal. That's pretty cool. Neat. All right. So moving on, we have a Pete Lepresti, Dennis Hextall, Tim Young of the North Stars, Rick Keough. He was a good player. Played for a long time for the Penguins. Eventually became a head coach in the NHL as well. Orest Kindrichuk? Kindrichuk. I hope I said that right. I don't know if I've heard of him. And Jim Rutherford, who eventually became a general manager. I know he was the general manager for the Hartford Whalers, and when they moved to Carolina, he was still there for a while as well. And uh, this is what the backs of the cards look like. Have a player's signature, all their statistics. Good looking cards. Very nice set. I always like this set. All right, so now we'll move on to next pack. We have a 78 football. And again, we're going to be looking for hopefully a Tony Dorsett rookie. But uh, ooh, what do we have in the back? Oh my goodness, I don't believe this. Wow. <laughs> Wow. 
And I, my wow was premature. I thought that was a Dorset. It's a Butch Johnson. I apologize. <laughs> I got a little overexcited there for a second. Uh, anyway, Butch Johnson, he was a good receiver for the Cowboys. JT Thomas. Scott Hunter. Jim Hart, he played for a long time. Steve Mickemeyer. Joe Washington, he eventually went on to play for the Redskins. I believe he even won the Super Bowl with them in 82. Tom Sullivan of the Eagles. Charlie Hall. Art Shell, that's a nice one. All pro with the Raiders. Mike Hogan of the Eagles. Jimmy Robinson. Phil Villapiano. I seem to have lots of luck finding Phil, Phil Villapiano cards. I feel like every time I do a break, I get one of his cards. But good good player. Played for quite some time, mostly with the Raiders. Eventually moved on to the Bills. John Dutton. And Roosevelt Leakes rounds out that football pack. So again, I apologize for my overzealousness. I thought I had a door set on the back there. They look similar, don't they? <laughs> All right, so moving on. We have a basketball pack here, and in this one, we're going to be looking for possibly a Bernard King rookie, but there are lots of Hall of Famers in this. Wow, this back card really got messed up pretty bad by the gum. Okay, James Edwards. He played for a really long time. He was actually a member of the Bad Boys eventually, the Pistons in the late 90s. And we have Sonny Parker. Bob Lanier, he's a Hall of Famer. That's a nice one. Eddie Johnson, that might be a rookie card. I believe that is Eddie Johnson's rookie card. He played for a long time. He bounced around for a bunch of teams, but he was always a solid shooter, always relied on to be points off the bench. Dave Cowens, he may very well be a Hall of Famer. I think he is. I'll put him aside. Johnny Davis. I apologize if I'm missing Hall of Famers here. Uh, John Gianelli of the Bucks. Bobby Jones of the Nuggets, who eventually went on to play for the 76ers and won a title with them in 83. Doug Collins, another good ball player and eventually a coach in the NFL, I'm sorry, in the NBA with, uh, with the Bucks. And this next card here, I can't believe we pulled this. Wow. That is utterly amazing. <laughs> Utterly amazing. We'll have to take a look at that one when we finish up here. Um, Dave Bing, the Celtics. Ray Williams, another good player. George Johnson of the Nets. And our last one was the Phil Smith card that got really kind of dinged up here from the gum. But uh, obviously an awesome pack because we managed to pull a Bernard King rookie card. It looks like it is uh, very off-center, but it is, surface-wise, looks really good. Corners are razor sharp. Here's the back of the card. That is a gorgeous card. I'm actually, I'm gonna just grab a one touch and throw it in there. It's pretty cool to open these and find what you could absolutely hope for at the best case scenario. And I believe this card is the most valuable card in the set. It has um, 
spiked up dramatically recently. Uh, what do we do here? Did I put this in? Put this in backwards. I think I might have. No, that looks great. I don't know why this isn't closing. Yeah, for some reason this doesn't want to. Uh... There we go. There we go. Okay, take a good look at this one here. Very nice. I want to just compare it to the other one I got here. Uh, they look very similar. The one I just pulled actually is a little bit more off-center, uh, especially on the bottom. It seems to be um, cut a little lower than the, the one that I had already. But this is a very nice card. All right, so we'll put that one aside here. Okay, we'll move on to our baseball pack. And in this one, as we mentioned earlier, we're going to be hoping for, well, wow, that'd be amazing if we could pull an Eddie Murray or, um, or a Jack Morris or Lou Whitaker or the Paul Molitor, Alan Trammell cards. Uh, but there's a, a slew of uh, other really great cards in this set as well. So hopefully we'll find something nice. It's kind of hard to top what we just pulled in that last pack there, but... You never know. All right, so we got Bob Lemon, uh, manager of the White Sox. Uh, he managed a few teams, including the Yankees, uh, a little later on. Andre Dawson, very nice. Very nice card. It's not his rookie, but uh, I think this this might be his second year. I think 77 is his rookie card. Uh, I could be wrong about that, but I'm almost positive it is. But that's a really, really nice card. And obviously, he's a Hall of Famer. Mark Belanger, Jason Thompson, he played for a long time. Lee Mazzilli, I loved Lee Mazzilli when I was a kid, growing up a Met fan. He was uh, he was probably my favorite player for a few years. But uh, Mets made a good deal for him. They got Ron Darling out of it. And uh, eventually Lee came back and helped the Mets win the World Series in 86. Cecil Cooper, excellent ball player. Big home run hitter. Dick Williams, felt like he managed forever. Billy Hunter, manager of the Rangers. Gary Alexander, gold cup card. Here's a nice one. There's another nice one behind it there, too. Phil Necro and Nolan Ryan strikeout leaders. Any card that's a Nolan Ryan card is a nice card. Carlton Fisk, Hall of Famer. That's a really nice one, too. And Sandy Alomar. Rounds out our baseball pack. All right, so I think we did pretty well here. Just go through all these quickly again. Some nice baseball cards here, and we'll go through the ones we pulled aside. Basketball pack was super nice. Had some really good players, good recognizable names here. I'm not sure Bobby Jones... I don't know if Bobby Jones is in the Hall of Fame. He was a really good player for a long time. I'll have to look him up. Doug Collins, Dave Bing. Dave Bing might actually be in the Hall of Fame too. Again, I'll have to look some of these guys up after the fact here. All right. And we got our Butch Johnson, JT Thomas, Scott Hunter. Just to recap... Art Shell. Art Shell, I'm not sure if he's in the Hall of Fame. I'll have to look him up, too. He might be. He might very, very well be in the Hall of Fame. Okay, and our hockey cards to round us off here. All right, and our Shore Hall of Famers. I know we got Bob Lanier, Dave Cowens. And these were our big hits from the baseball with the uh, Andre Dawson and Carlton Fisk and the Phil Nucro Nolan Ryan card. And our big one here is the Bernard King rookie card. Totally awesome. All right, guys. Well, this was fun. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. 
in uh, our next video, we're going to feature uh, uh, some packs of uh, 85 uh, Leaf. We'll be looking for uh, Roger Clemens or a Kirby Puckett rookie. So hopefully we'll have some luck with that. But I um, hope you enjoyed this. I enjoyed bringing it to you. And uh, if you like it, uh, like what you see, please uh, don't hesitate to hit that subscribe button. And uh, we'll see you next time. Take care, guys.